PCI president, the country's very own Dada, Saurav Ganguly. Saurav Ganguly, Indian cricket at this point in time seems to be at a crossroads. We have a new coach who during his tenure as a player was perhaps one of the best this country had ever produced. And we have a new captain in the white ball, both white ball formats of the game. As the, the administrative head of the, of the cricket uh, fraternity in India, how do you see things going from here on? Uh, you know, it's very difficult to predict what's going to happen in the future, but India is a great side. Mm -hmm. India is a very good team and, 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 uh, and as you rightly said, you've got, you've got a very good coach. It's in able hands and, and, uh, and the captain as well. So we wish them all the best uh, because, you know, in this game, you can't predict. But uh, cricket is a team game. So it's the players together, the captain and the coach make it successful. A lot of these players has made it successful over the last five years. So I don't see any reason why they can't be successful and they will be. Mm -hmm. So I wish them all the best and, and hopefully we can achieve greater, greater heights in the years to come. Some um, big tournaments up ahead. Um, the T20 World Cup followed by the 50 over the limited uh, format of the game World Cup, which will be played in India eventually in 2024. The team, as you see it now, you are hopeful? See, this is 21, so it's 22 next year. 22, 23, 22. Yes. And so from 22 to 31, there'll always be a World Championship every year. Yes. In the this cycle and the next cycle. Yes. And India will always be a contender. Correct. Uh, and I believe they can win. Mm -hmm. uh, I believed in the last five years as well that they could win. Uh, they've had a semi-final loss, they've had a, a loss in the groups, uh, so, but uh, just like any other Indian cricket fan, and I, I believe that out of the next nine titles, uh, which is to follow from this October, next October, mm -hmm. India will have their name in some. It won't be everything, but it'll have, I'm sure they're good enough, and I know that they'll, be the, they'll have their name on the trophy in some of them. Right. And... Um, um, Rohit Sharma, your, um, you know, your next, um, you know, you've been pinning a lot of hope on him because obviously for the T20 format, for the uh, limited over format, he's now leading the squad. Um, is there a, a challenge that he is, uh, you, you know, he has in front of him? Will he be able, I mean, are you hopeful about him leading yeah. the way as his yeah, predecessors have? Yeah, of course he has. Uh, that's why the selectors have backed him. Yeah. Uh, he will find a way to do well, and I hope he does. Uh, he would want to, as every one of us wants. His record in IPL for Mumbai Indians is phenomenal, mm -hmm. uh, winning five titles. Correct. Uh, he had captained India in an Asia Cup a right. couple of years ago, which India won as well, and right. India won without Kohli. Right. Kohli is such a huge strength to this team. Absolutely. To win a title without him, speaks volumes of the of the of the team strength Absolutely. Uh, so he has success he has success in big tournaments he has a good team uh, so hopefully they can all turn it around mm -hmm. um, you've um, ha you've been part of the Indian cricket squad at very vital junctures I mean if there is a, um, a, a thorough history to be written about Indian cricket Saurav Ganguly would be at very crucial junctures uh, you have uh, led the team when uh, perhaps it needed you most. Um, and then you turned it around when you came back as a cricket administrator. Um, at this very juncture where, um, you know, we are talking about, or some of us are talking about Indian cricket at being cross, at crossroads. Is Saurav Ganguly enjoying the job? I mean, it's, it's, it's also a challenge for you, is it not? Yeah, I think every job is a challenge. Mm. You know, when I was made captain, when I first played, when I was made captain, mm -hmm. now, then I became CAB president, then I'm BCC president now. So every job comes with a challenge. It's the same thing with Rahul. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with Rohit. It was the same thing with Virat, who did so well as a leader. Correct. So at this level, with such intensity, with such quality players, with so much at stake, everything is a challenge. Mm -hmm. you, know, you just have to find ways to succeed. And, and I'm sure people, not just me, everyone, uh, needs a challenge in life needs because it's it makes you happy when you do well under 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 testing situations because that's the way it is it actually makes you believe that 
you're good enough to do it so yes uh, yes it is and and hopefully it's not just me because you know it's it's the president the secretary the mm. joint secretary the treasurer the vice mm. president we all work together and the staff at the bcci a team team yeah so we all work together to run such a humongous Correct. operation because Correct. cricket in india is such a big country mm. and it's a humongous operation to run mm. Mm. so you know it's been good so far right um this bit of a controversy over you know the shifting of captaincy from uh, virat kohli to, uh, to to rohit sharma and and you know um, honestly uh, the virat kohli fans across the country have had a bit of a disappointment now you have already explained your position and it wasn't obviously the board's decision alone it was a joint decision by both the board and the yeah. selectors um, would you um, you know for the benefit of our viewers and many of them would be virat kohli fans Care to you know uh, you know elucidate a bit on how it is how it is beneficial to Indian cricket in the long term? It's exactly what I said you know a couple of days ago that I had personally requested him not to not to give up T20 captaincy, but obviously he felt the workload, mm. uh, which is fine. You know he's been a great cricketer. He's Correct. he's very intense with his cricket. Correct. He's captain for a long period of time, so these things happen because mm. I've captain for a long period mm. of time, mm. uh, and and that's what it is. So. They wanted one white ball captain, and 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 that's why this decision. Uh, what is going to happen in future? I don't know. You know, uh, it's as I said at the start of this interview. It's a good team. It's got some fantastic players, and and hopefully they will turn it around. But why is one white ball captain important when there are different formats of the game? I mean, I mean, as an expert, if you could care to explain a bit. You know, a good team does not have too many leaders. Right, right. You know, so I think that's probably that's probably the reason, mm. and, and and that's what it is. Right. Um, talking about your challenges, it's been um, you know a couple of challenging years for you as well because of the COVID nineteen situation. Mm. Um, uh, you know, you've been um, struggling to uh, to organize uh, uh, international crickets in this country. The IPLs have had to be played elsewhere. Um, what do you see happening in the next, at least, uh, you know, about a year from I now? Think we've gone past it. Okay. I think we've gone past it, and uh, and uh, and and the bad is over in terms okay. of COVID. Uh, hopefully, we can get back IPL in India next year because it's India's tournament and it's a yes. different atmosphere when it's played in India. International cricket is on. We hosted New Zealand. We go into South Africa, West Indies, and Sri Lanka. We'll be back after that. So I think I think the worst is over. But the, and, but and the, the concerns is, and the good thing is that we have been able to complete Indian cricket in spite of all this COVID uh, issues by going yes. to Dubai and I and and I must say that the sports authorities in Dubai have been exceptional. Yes. Our domestic cricket is on in full full flow like it was before. Mm -hmm. Last year was a bit of a break because of COVID. Our domestic cricket is on. We've all com we've completed almost every tournament. The Ranji Trophy starts in January. The junior cricket is on, so that makes me and and there's been no no positive cases. Right, but so. but there is this fresh scare in terms of Omicron and and its origin from South Africa and Africa. So so is that a, a botheration for you at this present not point? Yet. Not yet. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll assess it uh, with in due course and see mm -hmm. what happens. All right. Um, also wanted to ask you. You um, introduced pink ball cricket mm. in this country. What's the future? It is the future. It's it's especially in Test cricket, and the simple reason is that it brings people back to the game after a day's work, mm -hmm. because people don't have time off from day to day work to watch a five-day Test match, mm -hmm. because people have to work. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reason. And right. uh, I remember it in Calcutta. It was a packed house. Absolutely. Uh, you see it in Australia. You see it in New Zealand. You see people just filling up the stands. Hopefully the next one, the next pink ball test in India, will fill up the stands too. Right. So um, uh, you know you are uh, you know hoping and and looking forward to make this a regular affair, pink yeah. ball cricket. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure, and I'm sure everyone at BCCI feels the same. All right. All right. Um, as far as uh, um, you know, the big ICC tournaments and and the World Cups, which uh, with which we unfortunately have not had. For various reasons, multiple, and I'm not trying to simplify any of it. Um, 
not not much success in the in the in the, in the recent past. Um, do you see our uh, current squad overcoming those challenges yes, in, the, said, in the in the years ahead? As I said at the start of the interview, that there will always be contenders in the next nine titles. Absolutely. And I'm pretty much sure that they'll have their name in some of them. It won't be all of them. They're good enough to have their names in some of them. Mm -hmm. You are also kind of battling against time in time in terms of your tenure as the PCCI chief. Yeah. So, um, what next, Dada? I mean, you're, you're you're enjoying. I'm sure you are. You're very good at it. You're enjoying your um, you know cricket administration. But what next for you? It's an honor. It's an honor to be a BCCI president and a secretary, and it has a tenure. Mm. That has been the case. It comes with a tenure. Yeah, <laughs> it comes with a tenure. So that has been the case for last True. 50 years. True. And that's what's going to be the case for the next 50 years. True. So do your job and, and move away. Simple as that. Right. And, and, and obviously hope that someone who takes the mantle from you yeah, does yeah, an equally be, good job. Yeah, yeah, they'll always be good people. You know, what you see Indian cricket today is because the past administrators have done a great job with the game. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so strong and so healthy and much above a lot of cricket which goes around in other parts of the world. We are fortunate in India. So. It, so the past administrators have also done a great job to bring it here. Mm. It's like a baton, you know. I've just carried, I'll be carrying it for three years, and then somebody else will take it over. Right, right. And any word on your colleague Rahul Dravid, who's taken up a very, very important job? Yeah. Wish him all the best. Uh, I heard in Nak in Kanpur after the day's practice, he was picking up the cones and wickets and balls and bringing it back into the dressing room. Okay. It must have been a great sight for the cameraman and the, and the photographers Absolutely. to see Rahul Dravid do that. Absolutely. But th that sort of a person he is, and I wish him all the best. We'll support him and Rohit and Virat in Test cricket, whichever way they want, and, and, uh, and I wish them all the best. For Saurav Ganguly followers, there had been a, a bit of a scare last year. Yeah. I mean, a few months back when you you know, had repeated visits to the hospital. We are, I'm absolutely sure you're doing very well with the kind of, uh, you know, workload that you've taken up upon yourself. But um, what is it that you see for yourself, sir, uh, you know, in terms of work activity, you know, I mean, physical activity? You're looking forward to it more and more? Yeah, I'm back to full <laughs> physical fitness. They say I'm new. I'm okay. new now, so... <laughs> I don't so doubt that. <laughs> I shoot. I've, I've been shooting, I've been working wow. BCCI, I've been traveling. So, so far it's been, it's been very, very good. Yes, you are, you are pretty regular on television, so you are, you know, long hours, um, you know, very difficult hours, I would believe. You are returning home at night and uh, but it's starting the day next it's, morning. It's, twi morning. it's twice a week, so it's fine. All right. That's All right. Fine. And uh, let me finish this off by asking you, this mandatory television question and, and mandatory journalism question that everybody asks you. You must be bored of it by now. Saurav Ganguly and politics. I, how far it remains, you know, the, the, the legendary gap between the cup and the lip. As they say, when you finish a show, keep watching this. So please keep watching this. So the space is open. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see with time. Good luck, Saurav Ganguly, and thank you very much for thank talking you. to CNN News thank 18. You. Thank you, sir.